my wave. Weirdly. Oh. Hey friends, happy Monday. I am so glad to see you again. Another week at home. Who's so excited? Yay! I want you right now, before we even get started, I want you to put in the comments the emoji with your favorite food. Okay, so if you are joining me today, I want you to put an emoji in the comments of your favorite food. And you will know why in a second. But with that, I hope you are all well. I hope that you are all getting along well with your moms and dads and your brothers and sisters. And I hope that there is no fighting and that you're all making very happy choices. So with that, we are going to get started. And I want to talk to you today about the very well-known story of Zacchaeus. And I know that some of you, when you hear Zacchaeus, you think right away about who? The wee little man, right? Zacchaeus was a we little man. So when they talk about a we little man, they don't mean like some crazy little miniature guy like a Lego man or anything like that. They mean he was just a guy that was kind of short. So the opposite of short is tall. And I'm going to show you two things now. One, my son Noah, who is dying to be on a live stream video. And two, someone who is tall, the opposite of short. So let's all say hello to my son Noah. Are you ready? Hello, Noah. Look at he's so tall, you can't even see his head. Oh, he had to squat down. Okay, that's good. Okay, Noah, say goodbye. Bye. Okay, look at. Now look at, now he thinks he's famous. So, so we, we are talking about Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, the wee little man. So I'm going to real quick look at my husband and my son and go like this to them. Okay. So Zacchaeus was a wee little man. So Zacchaeus. Not a very nice guy, actually. Zacchaeus had a job of being a tax collector. So let me tell you about what a tax collector is. Or better yet, let me show you. So people have money, right? This is all the money that Miss Erica has left. You know what? Being quarantined, I'm spending all my money on food and snacks that my kids keep eating. So this is all the money I have. Now, Zacchaeus would come along and say, you need to pay me five, five coins, five gold coins. So I would have to give him five gold coins and he would come and I would give them to him. Now, people were thinking, oh, I don't have very much money left and I have to you know, buy food, I have to help my family. And then the next day, Zacchaeus would come again and say, hey, I need some more money. I'm a tax collector. Give me all your money. So then they would have to give him some more. And pretty soon they didn't have any money left. But Zacchaeus, he kept the money. Most of the time, tax collectors and Zacchaeus were rich. They had lots of money. They had big houses. And you know what? They had lots of stuff. Big houses, lots of stuff, but very few people, very few friends, very few relationships or people that loved them because they only cared about money. They only cared about stuff. 
Well, they had heard that there was a parade coming. Someone very special was coming to town. And who knows who the very special person that was coming to Zacchaeus' town. Ready? Scream it loud when I count to three. Ready? One. Who's coming to town? Two. Three. Jesus. Yes, that was my son. Okay, ready? Time out. Okay, Noah, bye. Okay, sorry about that, friends. Yes, Jesus. Jesus was coming to town and there was going to be a parade. And everyone was so excited. Everyone was so excited to see Jesus, including Zacchaeus. Including Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus couldn't wait to see Jesus. But remember what I said? Zacchaeus was a wee little man. So have you ever went to a parade and you have to sit along the streets because then every everybody goes down the middle of the parade, the fire trucks and the marching bands and the cars that throw out candy. So you want to sit right on the edge, right, right in front so you can see. Because if you're littler, if you're a kid or someone that's not very tall, it's hard to see. And that's what Zacchaeus ran into. There were so many people crowding to the front, crowding to the side of the roads because Jesus was coming to town. They were so excited. Ha, huh. but sneaky old Zacchaeus, he had a plan. Zacchaeus decided to do what? Who knows? Climb up in a sycamore tree. You're right. For the Lord he wanted to see. Zacchaeus, here's the story. Again, I'm using this Spark Bible. But Zacchaeus, you can see him. Oh, let me move it right here. You can see him right here. Oh, I got to figure out where my camera is. Okay, do you see him? He's right there. And look at, do the people like him? No, look at that baby. That baby even knows that he's a mean man. That baby's going, I don't like you because he's not kind, right? Because he took everybody's money and everybody wanted to see Jesus. Do you see Jesus? So he climbed up in the tree. So is that the end of the story? No. No. So what did he do? Could he see? Yep. So then, oh, is that how he saw Jesus? He did this. Jesus! Jesus! Over here! Over here! Woohoo! Is that what he did? Is that what you would do? How would you see Jesus? Would you use binoculars? Would you use glasses? I bet some of us would use our phones, right, and zoom in. Well, Zacchaeus, he just stood in that tree and he thought, huh, good deal. I can see him. But then something extraordinary happened. Jesus stopped. Jesus just stopped right in the middle of the parade. And he walked over to the tree. He walked over the, to the tree and he started talking to Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus got kind of nervous. Zacchaeus knew that he has not made good, happy choices. And Jesus said to him, Zacchaeus, you come down. I'm going to come to your house today. What? Zacchaeus could not believe it. Jesus was coming to his house. And Zacchaeus said, I am going to eat supper with you. Hmm. So here we go. Zacchaeus took the people's money couldn't see at the parade so he climbed a tree and then now jesus everyone is so excited to see him and to hear what he has to say and jesus picks zacchaeus of everyone in the town jesus wants to eat with zacchaeus that's not fair right no way and zacchaeus said okay and Zacchaeus lived in a lovely big house. 
What do you think Zacchaeus and Jesus ate for supper? What do you think? Pizza? Spaghetti. Hot dogs and mac and cheese? Oh, I want you guys to think of something. If you could eat supper with anyone in the world, who would you eat supper with? A superhero? Maybe a famous movie star? Maybe grandpa or grandma? And what would you eat? What would you pick to eat? Would you get a Happy Meal? Or would you eat pancakes? I want to know, if you could eat supper with anyone in the world, who would it be? If you could eat anything in the world for supper, what would you eat? And I was thinking about this, and I think if Miss Erica could pick anyone in the world right now to have supper with, hmm, I would pick my nephews. My nephews, they live in New Jersey, so that's far away. And I would pick to eat Dar's pizza because that's delicious. So Jesus and Zacchaeus went for supper. I'm not sure what they ate. Maybe bread? I don't know. Maybe fish? Maybe wine? I don't know. But during that supper, what they ate that was not the cool part of the story. The cool part of the story is what happened after. Jesus and Zacchaeus talked. Jesus and Zacchaeus talked about everything. And Zacchaeus showed Jesus his heart. And he said, look at, it's kind of beat up. It's kind of crinkly. It's kind of messy. Look at, there's a hole in it. You know what? He said to Jesus, I'm not very kind. When there's a choice, I don't pick the right choice. I pick the sad choice. And he said, I steal from the people. They're poor, but I still take their money. And the more that Zacchaeus talked to Jesus, the more he felt peaceful. Jesus was so kind to him and Jesus forgave him. Jesus said, Zacchaeus, you must try to be kind. You must try to make good choices, but you are forgiven and I love you. He said, there is nothing in the world that makes you too bad. There's nothing in the world that makes you too terrible. There's nothing in the world that is too unforgivable for Jesus. Jesus says, you named what you did wrong. You admitted it. You were honest and you are forgiven. And something then happened. Something happened to Zacchaeus's heart. His heart changed and it was smooth and it was kind. And he said, Jesus, I am sorry. And you know what he did? He went back. He went back to everyone's house with his money and gave them back money. He gave them back the money plus more. And he said to them, whatever I took from you, I'll give you four times as much. And he said, I am sorry. I made a mistake and I am sorry. And you know what? The people forgave him. And Zacchaeus learned that the people in his life were his friends. And he thought, wow, if there is this Jesus, this wonderful man that can forgive me and I am a naughty man, then you know what? He is a pretty amazing God. And he told others all about God. And that is the best story ever. That's the story about how our Jesus, our great Jesus, 
you can tell him anything. You can confess to him any time that you maybe made a sad choice. And he will say, you are forgiven. Your heart is clean. Your heart is loving. So friends, I need to tell you about this box I have. Let me move it over. Okay. So I have this box. Do you see it? Like right here. And I have something really cool inside of it. Okay. So I'm going to put it right here. Okay. So I have something. Did you guys see inside of it? Did you see? Here. Oh, did you guys see it? Did you see it? Oh, maybe you have to come closer. Come closer. Do you see it? Oh, now did you see it? What? Oh, get your binoculars out. Get your binoculars out, maybe. Clean out your eyes. Did you see it now? Oh, it's pretty cool. I know some of you would love it. No? No? Okay, get a little closer. Put your nose right up to the screen right now. Is your nose up there? Do you see it? No? You still can't see it? But do you trust that there's something pretty great in there? Even when you cannot see it? Hmm. Friends, that's like today's story. You know what? Zacchaeus couldn't see Jesus at first, right? He really, really had to try. He had to open his eyes. He had to get closer. He had to be creative. And then, then he saw Jesus, but he wasn't sure he wanted to talk to him. And once he did, once he went to the work of seeing him and talking to him, something amazing happened. And friends, that's what I want you to remember from this story. That you know what? It is really easy to make sad choices, isn't it? Is it really easy to fight with your brother and sister? Is it really easy to eat more Girl Scout cookies than you're supposed to? Is it really easy to whine because you don't want to do homework? Is it really easy to pout because you don't want to go to bed early because there's not even school? Friends, sometimes the right choice, the best choice, the happy choice is the hardest. And sometimes the thing that seems the most fun or the easiest or the thing that everybody else is doing is not a good choice, is a bad choice, maybe a wrong choice, maybe a dangerous choice, maybe a sad choice. So I am going to challenge you to stop, to climb that tree. Not really. Don't really go climb a tree. But stop and talk to Jesus and say, help me, help my brain, help my heart, help my hands to make good choices. Because right now it would be really easy to make a sad choice. And think back to the story that Zacchaeus got to eat a meal with Jesus. Imagine eating supper with Jesus. Imagine having a hot dog with Jesus and telling him all about yourself. Asking him to love you and forgive you. And you know what he would say? Absolutely. You are my child. So friends, this is what I want you to do today. I've been reading all over that people are putting hearts in their windows. And then if you go for a walk or you go for a drive, you can see these hearts in people's windows to be reminded of love, to be reminded of hope. So I want to make hearts with you. 
You can take white paper, you can take newspaper, you can take colored paper, you can take any kind of paper. And I want you to make hearts and write on there, you know, I love Jesus or yay for forgiveness or Zacchaeus went from bad to good. And I want you to cover your windows with hearts. Maybe they don't have to say anything at all, but I want to see the pictures of your hearts. And if your windows are full of art projects already, put them in your bathroom on your mirror. So when you wake up in the morning or before you go to bed at night, or every single time you're washing your hands, you can remember, huh, Jesus loves me. And you know what? Zacchaeus's heart was pretty crumpled, right? Pretty ripped up, kind of had some holes in it. But do you want to see something? It was still a heart. So friends, even if you make some really ugly, crinkly choices, it's still a heart. It's still a heart and you are forgiven. So friends, I am so glad that you joined me today. And I was wondering, would you want to sing Zacchaeus with me? Do you guys remember that song? If you don't know this song, this is a classic Sunday school song, a song that I bet your moms and your dads and maybe your grandpas and grandmas sang when they were in Sunday school or when they were little kids. So it goes like this, okay? Zacchaeus was a wee little man. Can you do that? Zacchaeus was a wee little man. A wee little man was he. He climbed up in, can you do that? He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as Jesus passed his way, he looked up in the tree and he said, you know what he said? Zacchaeus, you come down for I'm going to your house today. Are you ready? Okay, what is the thing we have to do before we sing? We have to what? Warm up. Okay, so hands, mouth. Okay, nose, uh -huh. hair, okay, how about ears, ew, potatoes in there, what else, what else do we have to do, oh, our cheeks, do it again, do it again really loud, ready, okay, are we ready, and don't forget, when Miss Erica sings, she sounds like a frog, I know, Maybe during this time in the house, Miss Erica will become a really good singer. What do you think? Okay, are you ready? Zacchaeus was a wee little man. A wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as Jesus passed his way, he looked up in that tree and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down for I'm going to your house today, for I'm going to your house today. And during supper, Zacchaeus learned that Jesus was for him, right? Friends, Jesus is for you. You're forgiven. Your crinkly hearts, they're made new in Jesus. And you know what? You're forgiven. And try hard, friends, when you're in these, in the house and in these crazy times. Remember, the best choice is the hardest choice. And just take your time, think, and if you have to, climb that tree and talk to Jesus. Okay, friends, are you ready to pray? Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you. 
for our time together. Thank you for technology so we can see our friends even though we are at home. Help us to try hard to make happy choices, to not fight, to not whine, to not argue, to not beg, and to help out our families, to clean up, to give hugs, to be kind, to do our work. Help us to remember that we are never alone, that Jesus is with us. Jesus is having supper with us and Jesus is ready to talk to us. Help everyone, Jesus, that is sick. Help our nurses to stay healthy. Help our doctors to get rest. Help everyone in the world that is going through these crazy, crazy times. We love you, Jesus. And all God's children said, again, all God's children said, all right. Hey, before we hang up, should we do a really fast, speedy version of Zacchaeus? Like fast forward? Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Zacchaeus was a wee little man and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in the sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as Jesus passed that way, he looked up in that tree and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down for I'm going to your house today. I'm going to your house today. Woo! Boys and girls, Jesus loves you. Miss Erica loves you. Send me pictures of your hearts all over. Send me pictures of you reading Bible stories. Most of all, know that you are loved. See you tomorrow, friends. Bye!